In our previous video, we imported these two guys, tkinter and SQLite 3, so we can do some database programming. Then we defined a class called app. Then I defined a constructor, double underscore init, double underscore. And after we defined the, the constructor, I built two buttons, defined two buttons. This one is an instantiation of the the button that's defined in tkinder, and we stuck it onto the frame, and we wrote OpenDB on it, made it red, and told it to execute this command called ouvrir, which is really a function that's defined within our class. We would execute this function. <coughs> Oops, it's in a it's in a class method. It executes this method as soon as you click on this button. And then we told it, we said, button, take your silly self and pack it all onto the frame, this frame, onto the left side. And it did it so we could see it. And then we had to define ouvrir. Ouvrir <coughs> is the function over here. Oops, method over here. I defined ouvrir here. And I told it, do the following. I said SQL 3, Mr. SQL Light 3, who I just imported a few moments ago, connect to MadDB and return the return stuff to con. So now con refers to the connection to MadDB. Then I said con execute your <coughs> built in cursor method, which will take any set of records that we're talking about as pertains to MadDB and assign all that to the L value over here, which is cur. So now cur is always talking about whatever data set, whatever set of records we're talking about when we're working with MadDB. And then we did the last five commands. <coughs> Excuse me. And root equals tk. Then we defined the title and the geometry of the window. Then we took that class and instantiated it, passing it root, which becomes, which gets caught into master, and assigned it to the variable app, and I run the root main loop program. And this is what we got. This guy. Then I clicked on this guy here, <coughs> and... <coughs> I got this guy. <clears throat> it made MadDB. Zero bytes in it right now. That's what it did. Wow. So, first thing I'm going to do here is get rid of this guy. Then I'm going to delete MadDB so we can create it again. Minimize this. <clears throat> and get rid of the shell for a second. Now what I want to do is I want to create another button. Not a button to open a database, or a function that will open the database. <coughs> but now what I want to do is I want to create a button to create a table within this MadDB database. Ah, so I'll need another button. So let's make another button. And let's do that now. So I key in the following. I key in <coughs> self. I want to make button number two. I want that to be equal to the instantiation of the button object. Put it on the frame, comma, space, uh, line continuation character. And then the text that I want to see on it equals space underscore is create table. Put then in single quotes a comma, space, line continuation character, and now the command. What command shall it execute when you click on this button? Space, underscore, uh, line continuation character. I want to tell execute self's 
T-A-B-L-U-H function. Tabler, which I haven't defined yet, but which I am about to define. That's good. Now, self. Oh. Button number two, take your silly self and pack it onto where? Onto the frame. Oh, make sure the side you pack yourself onto is the left side. Now it's going to run into the other button. It's going to have to stop because it can't go any further. So it will be to the right of the previous button. Huh, be you know. And I'm <clears throat> done with that button definition. Wow, that's it. Now, after ouvrir, the open, the open function, I have to create this function, tabla. When you click on this buttons, on this button here, it's going to execute the command called tabla. Ah, tabla is a function. It will get executed. But I haven't defined that yet. So let's define that now. See if I can tab over. I can. Oh, happy days. I'm going to define a function called tabla. Oh, I didn't get some fired. Define a function called tabla. And it's on self. It's on your silly self. Okay. The first thing I'm going to say is self. You got yourself a cursor. I want to set that equal to what? Just in case it, something didn't click from before. Self dot com dot cursor. Make sure I have that connection, so that all the ta all the records associated with the connection to MadDB is associated with this variable. I need that. Now, self. You know that variable cur that you have? Yes. I want it to execute the following SQL command. One, two, three. This will make it easy for me. Now I can pretty much hit enter whenever I want. I like that. So I want you to create. And make it caps. SQL command. Create. Uh, space. Ah, hit enter now. I'm going to go over to here. This is nice. A table called, uh, what will we call our table? XXX. Open parens. Now notice I can pretty much hit enter wherever I like because of this three single quotes over here. I can get away with it, and I like that. And it gives me a lot of flexibility in formatting my stuff. Formatting my, my data, my programming code. ID field, it's going to be an integer, and I do not want it to be the primary key. Not yet. Then, first name, first name field, I'll call it FN. It's going to be a string of there, 10 characters wide, comma. Then, last name. LN. It will also be a string there, 10 characters wide, and that's it. <clears throat> now we got to match everything. Parentheses. That's my first parenthesis. I got to match that. One. And I got three quotes I got to match. One, two, three. And then I got a other single quote. Uh, friends. Close friends. Turns gray. I'm happy. I hit enter. I'm done. That's it. I have now finished defining the function for the button, for button 2, that I just defined up here. Wonderful. I'm now done with this program. I'm going to call this zdb3.py. So file, save as. Z D B three. 
Save.py. And I click on Save. That's it. Drum roll. Time to test this thing. Run. Cross your fingers. Run module. And. Ta -da! Ta -da! It worked. Oh, wow. Now. <laughs> I breathe a sigh of relief. Wow. <laughs> All right. Now, I do not have Mad DB here. I deleted it. So, first thing I'm going to do is open up the database called Mad DB. Yes? Yes. Here we go. I click on this guy. Open the database. That means he's going to be here now. I'm going to hit F5 in my windows and go back down to the M's. There he is, Mad DB. Zero KB. Now I'm going to click on Create Table. And here's Mad DB right here. Zero KB. I'm going to click on Create Table. Drum roll. And did it work? Mad DB is, oh, now 2 KB. 2 kilobytes. It just got bigger. We just created our table. That is just amazing. It worked. <laughs> oh, I love it when a good plan comes together. Now, in the next uh, video, I'm going to create another button over here, which will close the database. After that, insert record into the database, and then list out the records. That's the plan. Let me close this. And close that. And I want to... One more thing. I want to thank all of you for listening. This is George Bull. Bye-bye now.